Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk about an advanced uh, internal search uh, tracking methods in uh, Matomo Analytics and I will use for that uh, the data layer of Matomo Tag Manager. But before starting, I just would like to thank uh, Julien Coquer who actually uh, helped me troubleshoot the uh, tracking code that I had because at some point I wasn't able actually to um, extract the value uh, correctly from the data layer and I succeed uh, thanks to him. So thanks uh, Julien for that. Okay, so the typical uh, use case that I would like to tackle today is how you can measure within a search form. So here you can see that I have a search form and how can I append to it as well uh, the category. So um, you probably know that, but when you are uh, firing uh, a search, you have the possibility to collect the search term and as well to assign it a category. So this is what I'm doing in this example. This um, ID came from a demand that I received uh, from someone asking uh, more explanation about it. So uh, what I did um, in order to explain this is I created a form as you can see here. So I have a blank page and on my blank page I have a um, few things. I have of course my container running. I have to say as well that I use uh, the Google Tag Manager in order to understand how to read the data from the data layer and I used for that a video made by Julian uh, Juneman. So without him as well I would not have the possibility to make this full tutorial. And uh, what I would like to uh, mention as well is that uh, here I have my category that I hard coded. Uh, so here I put one element which is in an ID which is the that I named category, I could have named it uh, something else, but I decided to name it category. And this is this category that I had coded that I'm going to send to my search with my search term, which is, um, as you can see, uh, over uh, over here. OK, so here you have my, uh, my search, which is going to be typed by any user, and I would like to push it to Matomo. So in order to do so, what do I have is um, I have my um, my container on the page and on my page I have several tracking code. The first one is the Matomo analytics tracking code. So that's really the basic tracking code which is firing on all pages. Okay, nothing, uh, nothing fancy here. And I have a tag and the tag is actually the copy and paste of the tracking code that you can see here because compared to Google Analytics there are two ways that you can uh, grab uh, a search term and its category in Matomo. It's either through the URL parameters or either by using the track site search feature. So this is the one that I'm using here. So I just copy and paste this given tracking code and I put it within a custom HTML uh, tag that you can see up here, right? So nothing fancy, it's just my feature. I just remove all the contents. And here I have two uh, variable. One is the Julien Coquet custom JavaScript. Uh, so it's just uh, a variable that I created thanks to Julien. And here I have my other variable which correspond to the category. So uh, here I have my basic function. So here what you want to know is what did I put over here and what did I put uh, over here. So that's what I'm going to explain in a second time. Um, so this is my tag and my tag is triggered when the form is submitted and my form submit um, is defined like this. Um, I did not specify anything, it's just when a form is submit. So in my case, uh, the technical things was just to make a form uh, tag. So this is what I have over here. So as I have a form, it's going to react on this given trigger. So what you are interested in now is to know what is within this GCC custom JavaScript and this category. Uh, let's start by the category first because that's part uh, maybe of interest for you. The category is defined as a variable which is a DOM element of the page. So I click over here on create DOM element and I uh, create new variable. I selected the DOM element. What you can see here as a category is just come and grab actually the um, element ID based on the name categories. So here what's going to happen thanks to this uh, given a variable is going to push nothing if there's no value. But in my case, as I outcoded it, it's going to send as a category here the word Volvo. OK, so nothing fancy. And um, so this is, I think, kind of interesting because you is, is something that you can play with with uh, when an element is visible on the page. So that's typically uh, 
a nice variable to have. And my second variable, I wish I could have used um, a data layer. Yes, if I would, have, I, I wish I would have used the data layer because when a form is submitted and it's something that I didn't know, the data layer is already pushed with all the values and the value include what was written within uh, the form. So you can easily uh, grab it. But when I try to do it with Matomo Tag Manager with this variable, it didn't work out. So I had to create a custom uh, JavaScript. So this is what uh, I have up here. Uh, so here is my uh, GC custom JavaScript. And if I look at it, and this is where Julian, uh, Julian helped. So it's function return, and here is the matomo tag manager dot data layer dot values and uh, MTM from element zero value. So all this structure, I get it thanks to Julian uh, Jenaman because in this uh, video about Google tag manager and for tracking, he's explaining uh, how it's working out and how you should actually uh, structure it. So to make it simple, the easiest way to understand how did I ended up with this is to create uh, a new tag and this tag is going to just be like kind of a kind of a pop-up so pop-up window so you go over here you create your uh, your alert whatever and here you add your uh, scripts and then you can just add your uh, your given alert and this alert is going to be necessary because it's going to block the page and that's exactly what you want in order to analyze the DOM element. So that's what I'm doing over here. And let's and let's publish. Uh, I'm just going to call it debug. Of course, I could use the debug mode of Matomo, but compared to Google Analytics, when you are sending the form, you cannot uh, interact anymore with uh, the debug mode, which is problematic as we cannot see what's inside. So I'm just going to say, ah, uh, like this, I'm going to click here on search. Uh, okay, so here, that's great. That's what I wanted. And now I can investigate the data layer. So compared to Google Analytics, uh, the first word to enter within the GS console is not data layer, but it's Matomo tag manager dot the data layer. So dot data layer. And then I can investigate within the data layer. And if you follow Julian Jenaman, uh, videos about uh, Google Tag Manager is explaining how, how you get through the DOM element thing. So here it's Matomo Tag Manager dot data layer. Then if I want to go one step uh, below, it will be a dot uh, values. And then if I want to analyze what's in this one, uh, it's about the MTM form element and based on the zero element over here, I get the value, which is in my case, uh, which is going to be which is gonna be uh, here, okay? So this is how uh, we get the, let's say the logic in order to uh, grab the data that you can see. That uh, you can see uh, up here, right? So it's matomo.datalier, dot values, dot MTM form element, then I'm gonna go on the zero and that on the value. So when you get this right, uh, you are fine. And the point where uh, Julian, uh, Julian Coquet helped me a lot is that I added the double quote at the end and at the beginning and did not understand why it was not working. Uh, okay, so now it's it's all good. Actually, I can publish that out. Uh, actually, it's already published, so I don't need to publish it again. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna enter just one word in order for you to uh, let's say see that it works. Hope it works. Hope it works. Um, if for some cases it doesn't work, uh, just always look at your JavaScript console because sometimes just because of one single uh, character it may uh, not work. So here I send it, and if I look at my uh, different. Uh, visit logs interaction, probably I will get uh, the, so you see, I got the R, uh, which is working fine. And if I over my mouse over it, you will see that the category assigned is uh, is Volvo. So here it's fine. And if I refresh my page, probably I will get the other search term that I entered. No, it's not working. Okay, so probably I changed something that I shouldn't have changed. Let's let's see it within the console. Okay, so nothing fancy here. Can go over here and let's say like B. Okay, block. Okay, so there's no error. And okay, B. 
Okay, so everything's working as expected. I get my category, I get my search term. So uh, thanks a lot more to uh, Julien and Julianne for helping me a lot with uh, this uh, given tutorial. Thanks for watching.